It's that time, it's TSI fall time. Interesting cycle titles they're in, isn't it? They tend to release the two and three, and then we've got the one, another video on the TSI one coming soon. So they have the, like the, the outlier drivers, so that super friendly, and then the lower spin, kind of smaller headed one, which this is uh, at a later date. Post comments down below, what do you think about that? I mean, I think if you know that's coming, you're just about being patient. It doesn't really kind of bother me. And businesses have got to do what businesses have got to do. TSI for lower spinning TSI. The challenge today, apart from the review, looking at the tech, showing you the basic numbers, for anyone who wants to stay around to the end of the video for the Just One More Go crew, me and you like a crazy, 165 ball speed. Do you reckon I can get 165 ball speed with this club? That's what I'm gonna go for. 165 in the comments down below. Do you reckon TSI4 gives me the 165 ball speed I want? So TSI4, this is the lower spinning version of the TSI crew. It looks smaller down by the head. We'll do the tech as we go, but I do think this is a 430 head shape if I remember correctly. And it looks beautiful, lovely round shape, the normal shiny black top with the darker gray finish. So not the biggest contradiction between face and uh, head, which I do prefer a bigger contradiction between those colors. So it stands out more, but that would never stop me buying it. Uh, we're seeing the same neck. We're seeing the same, obviously, branding and looks. It's everything you would expect the TSI4 or TSI4 to look like, really. Oh, it's an arrow and sound like. That sounds very, very rocket-like nice. I don't mean rocket-like as in loud. I mean as in, like, solid. That felt like, oosh, boom. Classic tightness looking. It's fitting in with that sound that we're seeing in TSI drivers. A bit toey of that one, which is why we see the turn, but still that's done. I mean, it's a smaller headed driver and that's done fine. And it'll be interesting to see where the spin numbers on this. I do think the lower spinning models from the companies have certainly got less aggressive in the low spin because I think they've just realized that there's no longevity in that attack. Uh, Taylor made found that out first off, didn't they? With their commitment to uh, low and forward CG. Where did that commitment go? Oh yeah, when people stop spying the myth. Yeah, I mean, it just feels good and really quite solid. And I do think one thing that tightness, well not one thing, they're good at lots of things, but one thing that they're really consistently good at, along with other things, is that that's just what this kind of demographic of golfer will want this club to look like. I think they really dial in and almost set the theme for the demographic you'll want this club. I mean, if you stereotype it, it's gonna be low handicappers, county golfers, your scratch golfers, and your five handicap golfers with speed. Maybe a few tour players, but less than you think. Less than you think tour players will game this. I would argue, and it'll be interesting to see what their spread is, two and three will be the bigger marketplace, maybe three, and then this will just get a few of the fringers who want that lower spinning driver. Or often it gives them the option, you know, if you're trying to, Callaway or a Mizuno or Cobra or TaylorMade or whatever it is, if they've got that lower spinning option and Titus haven't, then they're not going to sell it. They need to be in that marketplace. And this driver puts them in there pretty spectacularly. And as I say, I do think they just kind of do this, what it looks and sounds and feels like down by the ball, maybe as good as anyone. So we're gonna present the numbers and we're gonna look at what the spin actually is. I've got strokes gained on today's video as well. So as I collect a little bit more data, why don't we uh, have a look at the tech, see what uh, Titanist are actually saying about this driver. I'm trying to get up to that 165 ball speed, come on. Faster, please. So it's a 430cc head. It is a smaller head and you do see that. It doesn't look like tiny, but it's a nice size. It's got the ATI 425 face, that aerospace grade face that we've seen in all the TSI models. It's a 250 revs per minute lower spin than the, say the TSI 3. So if you think about 250 revs spin less, then it also says it's uh, 150 revs less than TSI 4. Think about what that means when you listen to that. Again, uh, as I'm trying to push the data forward so people get that more rounded idea of what this club means. Standard deviation with your driver on spin. 150 revs from the TSI 4 or the TS 4. Cool. 
I don't know anyone who's spinning that tight of tolerance on a shot a data set of say more than 20 shots. They're just not gonna be. And then in turn with the lower spinning than TSI 3, 250 res or whatever it was, again, finding that is gonna be, well, it's just gonna be noise rather than maybe finding it. So yes, it's the lower spinning model, but I mean, it's uber close to the three, isn't it? So it's the CG forward, higher MOI design and improved sound and feel, which I'd agree with. I mean, it is CG forward and the MOI is whatever. I mean, again, that's similar to the lower spin, but I can do another video on that. I mean, it's TSI, but in a lower spinning, smaller headed idea, it's got the increased ability across the face, high and low with all the TSI designs, but it's just a lower spinning, lower or smaller head shape, beautiful TSI driver. So no surprises for me there. And I do think as well with that idea of their release that we talked about at the start of the video, with the spin, I mean, a TSI 3 is a TSI 4, really, unless you do want the smaller head shape. And that's what you're buying for. And again, the patience, you need that patience. Again, finding, I mean, I'll show you my numbers. Let's just correct a few and we'll hit a few more and I'll show you the standard deviation to see if you could find 250 revs over the three. It does feel good. Like it does sound and feel as good as anything they've made. And to be fair, that's not a surprise and I wouldn't expect anything else from them. I don't know if it's just me. I mean, that one is fading a little bit, but it doesn't feel as crazy fade bias as they can sometimes go as well, which is a good thing. That was hopefully a bit more, I say that on the shot where I actually do cut it, which is quite funny. But it feels stable, even though it is smaller. And I can see the players who are gonna wanna game this club and they will enjoy it. Right, one more, let's look at these numbers. Oh yes, get on. Ball speed, are you, will you? No, gonna have to get quicker. So I'm averaging 161 ball speed. So I'm not, I've had a 163, 165. Remember in the comments, will I hit that today? It's a 2 3 spin with 383 3 deviation, standard deviation in the spin. Lowest down there at 1 6. And you can see the number of shots I've hit here over a season. You just ain't gonna see the difference in spin, I don't think. You're gonna get one, two, three occasions where you latch onto it and think it's done brilliant, but you'll get plenty of 2 8s and the rest of it 2 9s. It's just, you're messier than that. Averaging 284 carry, my normal carry for the moment around the 280s. I'm getting the club moving at 112, 110 up to a 113. It's just really, really good. I just think the club is solid. You can see my strikes are in a decent place. I'm trying to move them away from the toe. So it's a nice fair test of some decent hits. That is a well-made solid club. Let's take it to the 18th at Pebble Beach and see if I can hit this 165 ball speed at the same time of challenging the stability of it because there's a big old ocean and some fancy houses that I could easily hit it into. Right guys, Coach Lockie here. Before Mark hits the 18th at Pebble Beach, I'm gonna take you through the strokes gain numbers. Now we have narrowed the fairway. So if you have seen our strokes gain numbers on previous driver tests, if these are slightly worse, then that might be the reason why. Mark wants to carry on bombing his driver, but he does know that he's gonna to have to get on the golf course one day and he needs that accuracy to be kept up as high as possible as well. So let's dive into the strokes gain numbers. And as you can can see the TSI4 is losing 1.05 total and that is 0.14 loss per shot. Now if we take out the recovery shots the TSI4 is now gaining 0.82 of a shot on a Tour Pro. That is 0.12 per shot. So performing very very well considering we have narrowed the fairway also interesting numbers let's head back to the 18th tee at pebble beach with mark trying to hit that 165 ball speed if you haven't already commented in the comment section down below will he hit it or not right just so we're there where i am at the minute i'm not feeling like i can get the 165 ball speed but post in the comments down below what do you think can i get going up to near the 165 ball speed and keep any of these actually hitting the fairway should we see so we're now testing obviously the stability in theory because the dotting of the strikes might increase as i try to give it a bit more while at the same time it's going to be challenging my delivery more than anything else here we go hi toe it'll work for as in on the course but the ball speed is not going to be there it's actually low toe sorry low toe Good result. 
And this, I think, is the interesting point when someone's saying that it's 250 revs less, how people, how you read that, the perception of that. I mean, that's got a 156 ball speed. That's 10 mile an hour, nine mile an hour away from where I want it. 266 carry, 26 spin. Oh, trying to find 250 revs. Good luck to y'all. Just cut it, hit that nice as well. I think I hit that better. Yeah, you can see it's flying that bit further. Again, result in play, it's good stability. So 160 ball speed, we're going the right way. Just a little bit too much loft delivery on that one, which is uh, hurting that ball speed. Come on, 165. Can't get 165, I'm not getting closer to my 170 that I want to hit more than just once in my life. That's a nice drive. It's not going to be the quickest ball speed. Just stay right. Just stay right. It's so punishing up the left here. Will you stay up? Yes. It's only a 160 ball speed, but I caught it off the top. So we've got the lowest spinning. I mean, that's a 289, 287 carry. Not the strike, but the stability. I mean, I can keep this. That's my fastest club. So it's 113 today. Unfortunately, I struck it out the bottom. So we've come up short of the train run through. So only 160 ball went up to 3000 spin. Standard deviation in spin is 377. My standard deviation is far bigger than their claims of different spins. I'm not saying it isn't a lower spinning club, it is. But you finding that is going to be an interesting, well, just interesting. And look at, because my strikes are varying, look how we've dropped back 10 yards. Obviously, I've got longer ones in there, but we're getting some shorter ones from the strike. 165 ball speed's looking safe, unfortunately. I am super impressed with the stability feeling of this club in the small head, though. <laughs> Here we go, 114 club. Just stay up, what's the ball on that? That is a, look how much further that is. Oh, come on. 163 ball, we're gonna get there. Look what happened, it's 114 club, so it's my fastest club by one mile an hour, but the loft is down at 14, much better delivery. That loft going from 17 to 14 just jumps that ball speed. And again, when you think about neck sleeves that you get on this club, obviously you've got the sure fit, which is great for dialing in, but my variance is also gonna be in there, almost bigger than the variance of the club's ability to change loft. Right, 165, I reckon we can get there. If you're enjoying the Just One More Crew sessions of these videos, post in those comments right now. I am in the Just One More Crew. Anyone who's tried to get faster will relate to this idea. <laughs> Oh, it's a bit toey, I reckon. I like it there, don't I? Just keep left of that bugger. Yes, 161, strike. So I would say this is right like out of the low spinning worlds of drivers. This is as good as anything. I think the shape is up there with all of them, if not the nicest. It just looks and feels blooming lovely. And I am impressed with the fact that I can keep this on the planet trying to hit it like this. Bit Healy 113 club 17 loft, so it's going to be like a 160 ball. Got through the tree 161 ball, right? Three more. Can I 165? Oh, struck like that. I can't 113 club. We're in the right ballpark with how I'm delivering the speed, it's got to deliver the center of gravity a bit better. So 159 with that strike. On 13, not the best strike again, but we are getting a bit more out of that. I think it's a low spinner. Look, we've flown almost the tree. On 6.2, I think we've hit a 1.63, haven't we? So, yeah, 1.65 just needs to be the world's aligning. It's Healy. Oh, it's only 1.12 as well, and I felt like I hit that harder. Oh, I'm gonna have to have one, just one more. Sorry, 160 ball. Thanks for watching, TSI4, post comments down below. Is it something you'll test? This video's done. I am now just chasing the unicorns. I'm really impressed. Feels, sounds great. And I mean, I'm not hitting anything really off the planet here, which is, uh, here we go, this one's gonna go off the planet. It's not, is it? I mean, it's, that's 114 club, it's the wrong loft. If I got that face delivered, that would have been it. 162 ball. I mean, that is a, that's just 17, is it? 17 loft. That at 14 loft is there. Oh, we haven't, have we? Oh, we might have. 
we might have, I mean, I, that is just fair way finding. 163, come on. Come on, two mile an hour. What is your problem, golf? Deliver the club. 19 loft, look at that. I mean, it's interesting, that's 113 club. It's, it's the speed is there, but delivery's out, 161 ball. Right, just one more. This is the just one more. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Brian, for hanging around. I know you're probably the only person left, but uh, yeah, if you all like it, my speed's just not there yet. No, a bit off the top of the club, but it's just a really good drive. It's 114 club, it's 18 loft. 162 ball, 289 carry, better strike on that and we're there. That's just a solid old bat, that, isn't it?